Hey there everyone, it's Felix here from MyGunDiary.com and today is a pretty exciting day because I'm going to shoot my Mosin Nagant 9130 sniper rifle for the very first time. I bought this rifle more than four years ago and it went into storage because I got stationed in Korea and I was gone for three years. So this rifle and a lot of my other rifles stayed in storage for three years and I've been dying to shoot it ever since. So today is the day we're going to go shoot it. So let me tell you a little bit about this rifle. It is not an original World War II Mosin-Nagant sniper rifle. It is built on a 1943 Izhevsk 9130, and the scope is a, an original Russian PU 3.5 sniper scope, but it was added to the rifle after the war. So this one was not used in World War II. It was not originally issued as a sniper rifle but it is all original Russian gear. It is an actual PU sniper scope. Before I can get carried away and start shooting long distances with this thing, I've got to zero it in, of course. So today we're just taking it to the zero range. We're gonna shoot it at 25 yards, 50 yards, and 100 yards, and see if we can't get this thing dead on zeroed. The other thing we're gonna to do today is kind of fun. We're gonna compare it to another Mosin Nagant 9130, and we're just gonna shoot this one with iron sights. So I'll zero this and then we'll shoot some shoot and see targets at 25, 50, and 100 yards and see how much more accurate we are with the sniper rifle compared to just straight iron sights. Both of these rifles are built on 1943 Izhevsk receivers, so they're pretty much identical. One thing I recommend doing to get your rifle zeroed is to incorporate the use of a laser bore sight. There's two types of laser bore sights. You've got one that is for multi-caliber, and the way this works is You'll install the batteries and then you'll put this in the front of the barrel, on top of the barrel. The upside of this is that you can use it with multi-calibers. The downside is, is it's not quite a snug fit. It's a little bit loose, so it's not going to be as accurate as if you use one of these, which is a laser bore sight that looks like a cartridge casing built to the specifications of the caliber that you want to zero. For example, this one is a 7.62 by 54 laser bore sight. It's got a laser right on the front of it. And you can find these online for about 10 bucks, and they're really easy to use. It's shaped like a cartridge and it goes right into the breech. You insert it and then boom, that laser comes right out the front of your barrel and then you can align your sight with it. So with that, it's time to head out to the range and have some fun. I've got uh, about 100 rounds of ammunition here. I've, it's all surplus ammo. I brought a box of this Hungarian uh, ammo and then I also have the Russian ammo. They're both silver tipped. Uh, and they're both corrosive, so we'll need to clean the weapons as soon as we get back home. So that gives you an idea of what the reticle looks like. Range is hot. So it looks like I'm high and right. All right, first one was high right. I made an adjustment. And that one was high and a teeny tiny bit left. A little bit. All right, here we get a nice first look at, at my very first five shots. So the good news is uh, doing the lace, laser bore sight at home, I was able to get my first shots on paper at least, so I know where to make my adjustments. Those first two high shots were the first two shots, and then I started making a little bit of adjustments. So the first one was high right, and then I was a little bit high left, and I've made some minor minor adjustments and we'll see if these next five shots can get in the bullseye so i'm going to go ahead and keep this on the target so you guys can see breathe nice and easy and that one was dead on right on the x very cool and you see how far that the rifle jumps back Okay, so my first uh, 15 rounds 
15 or 20 rounds through this uh, Mosin Nagant 9130 sniper. I learned a couple of things. Um, we're just zeroing it, but still I got to remember to, to uh, breathe nice and easy and stay steady, uh, easy on the trigger pull. And then uh, one thing you definitely want to find is your comfort zone in terms of your the distance for your eye relief because two things to keep in mind. One, you need to see that reticle clearly and two, this rifle is going to jump back and you don't want it to, to hit you in the eye. So I think I found a pretty good distance right about here where I can get in nice and tight on the uh, scope but not have to worry about it jumping back and hitting me in the eye and I can still get a nice clean look at the reticle. What we're going to do here is uh, just a quick little comparison of groups. Let's do uh, two groups of 10 at 25 meters. Do 10 shots on the left, shoot and see target with the sniper rifle, and 10 shots on the shoot and see target with iron sights. So you take your time, breathe, easy, exhale, hold, and sweep. So we're going to move over to the target on the right side there. And shoot with the iron sights. Cold bore. 25 yards, no big deal. Well, the other thing with this big round, 7.62 by 54, you really feel a difference because with the sniper, I've been shooting with the recoil pad. So I'm gonna put the recoil pad on this one. It makes it a whole lot more comfortable, as you can imagine. Let's take a look at the two shoot and see targets side by side at 25 yards. Both groups look good, but what about as we move back to 50 yards and 100 yards? At 50 yards, you start to see a difference in the size of the groups. On the left is the sniper rifle, and on the right are the iron sights. The difference is to be expected, of course, no surprises. At 50 yards with the iron sights, the groups are still pretty tight and on target. And finally, let's take a look at the side-by-side -side targets at 100 yards. With the sniper rifle, I got six out of 10 hits, on the target, which is about six inches wide. But with iron sights, I was only able to manage one hit out of 10. A six inch target at 100 yards is almost impossible to see. Wow, I had a really great time out at the range today shooting my 9130 sniper rifle for the first time. And it was pretty cool comparing it to the iron sights on the other 9130. Of course, you're gonna be more accurate with the sniper rifle. Next time we go out, we'll hit the long range targets at like 600 yards, 700 yards, 800 yards, and see if we can't nail some steel targets with this. Hey, thanks for watching another great episode of MyGunDiary.com. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the 9130 sniper rifle. What methods do you use to zero your sniper rifle? Let me know in the comments. Also take a minute and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash mygundiary. And as always, be sure to check out my blog, mygundiary.com. We'll see you next time and keep shooting them straight.